Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the invite sent over for the next segment. That way it's done. Because you know, I like to be ahead of the game. We like to make sure our production's on point and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, Lorenzo's handling the behind the scenes right now. Oh, he's holding the microphone or the camera? Got it. Yeah. Well, apparently he's also working the the invites and all that. And yeah, he's doing a good job. Proud of him. He likes to help out. Nice. There's nothing wrong with that. You know that? All right, that invite sent out. Good Lord. That match on the 27th is going to be nuts. That's Saturday. Um, yeah. yeah. Saturday, this weekend is going to be busy too. It's a crazy yep. weekend. I'm booked Friday and Saturday, so it's, it's going to be. Yeah, I almost booked myself Friday. Tried to book myself Friday for some things, uh, but I'm here. <laughs> uh, I'm good old DMV, so, you know, at least I'm trying to make some connections, so can't complain. There you go. Yeah. Hey, man, look, that's what I tell people because I'm not going to go into a lot of things here. I'm not going to go into a lot of things here. But what I am going to tell you is this. I was having a conversation with somebody about, uh, you know, how to handle things and how to do shit in this business. And somebody was like, well, you know, I want to talk to these places. You can send a message to every motherfucker you want, but unless you show up and show them that they are that you're for real about being there, they're not interested in paying you. They're not interested in bringing you in because they don't mm-hmm. see you there in person. You have to add value. You have to make sure that they are able to invest in what is the value that you're adding that they don't have. I've got right. a lot of notes. I've got a lot of notes, and and you can either take it personally or you can be like. Uh, I guess I just have to figure out what kind of value I can add to their program. You know, right. what do you bring to that promotion? What do you bring to them that they could get from anybody else? That well, you have to make your way stand out. Right. Another thought, uh, another thing it, to that is you've got to be able to be there where they can see that you're for real. That was my big thing was, well, he, you got to be able to be there and have people see that you're serious about it because a lot of people, yes. a lot of people in this industry are like, Oh, you just, you just talk shit until you show up and people then will be like, Oh, okay. Yeah. You're for real because you're here. Mm-hmm. When you show up, doors open up. If you don't show up, the door can't open. So, and, and don't, and don't, I, I made this mistake because I was a greenhorn. Uh, don't just show up and, start helping out just introduce yourself yeah there's a hi my name is so and so heard about your promotion just like to introduce myself what can i do to help out don't assume things always ask i have made that mistake yeah. don't do it uh, yeah. don't assume things because you did stuff at the last show things would be the same thing no always always ask always ask don't just set yeah. up a merch table ask for permission Ask who's the promoter, who's the booker, who's the run because not that title changes. So it's not always the right. same person either. The promoter, it, the booker, th- that could be different people. So make sure you ask. By the you way, you know, I did want to bring up another interesting point for you. And we show a lot of support when it comes to independent companies. We do because we work for a lot of independent companies. Now, I have recently started going and back and looking and seeing the companies that are sharing us and sharing our information, sharing our videos, sharing our details, because they want growth out of it. Because we're acknowledging them. They're getting one hand washes the other, right? Like, uh, and and I say it all the time. Like I, it's we have a platform, we have a brand. We have a responsibility, right? You know what I mean. We 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 want I'm not saying that we have the pulse on what is indie wrestling, uh, you know. But I feel like we have a responsibility to put the eye on that kind of talent on the promoters who actually right. try. 
uh, the talent that deserve that kind of spotlight because there's so many talents. Throw a rock, you'll find a promotion. We are literally in. Uh, We're in the mecca. The mecca. The mecca. Yeah. I, I was trying to because I use the analogy a lot, but it was like I, there's something more to that. It's just like there's so many promotions you can work for and be involved with. There's uh, hundreds of federations in this area. There's yeah. thousands upon thousands of wrestlers in this area. It's crazy to think that, okay, you guys are involved with five, ten, whatever companies. It's crazy for anybody to think that us talking about you and you not sharing it is an idea. Like, how would that... Why wouldn't you want to put over the fact that we're putting you over when we work for all these places? Plus, think about the reach. I mean, it, again, it, what that what we went back to? Adding value. Yes. Adding value. Adding value. Every asses, every 18 is the point. And preferably asses that are older than 18. But and, and also, also we, plus, plus, you know, we also give out free information sometimes. You know, this could be like a whole <laughs> uh, seminar in itself, but like, you know, take advantage of certain uh, resources that you have your local radio station, your local newspaper, uh, you know, local TV stations. Um, you never know. You, all It doesn't hurt to ask. Right. Um, I work with a, well, one of my buddies is a podcaster. Uh, we actually started working together podcasting for a radio. Uh, I had some radio time. And then it went off to we work for a YouTube channel. Now he has his own show on said YouTube channel. Shout out to Rob Medina. You're so cool. Or you know, Rob Medina. Um, he has now started in reaching out to people, to actors, to directors. And it never would have started without that first email. Hey, I'm doing this and this. Would you be interested? It it all it takes is being respectful, being professional, and reaching out. You never know what could happen. You never know. Right. Oh, I agree. All right, brother. Well, listen, I know you're uh, kind of short on time. I will text you when I'm off air and we right. will, we'll hop on the horn and, and end the business. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. That's funny. <laughs> Push his chair to the right. My big ass takes 20, not 18 inches. 18, hey, that's, funny. that's funny. And uh, you guys are going to be at Ring of Fire. That's cool. Uh, we're going to be that's talking good. about some Ring of Fire uh, here oh, very yeah, He's the commish, the jefe about that. So, yeah, that's the guy. To yeah, to I don't that. know. So, I don't know what's happening Saturday yet, my friend. I, I just know I'm booked Friday uh, in Charlotte. You never know where I'm going to be Saturday. Maybe I'll be there. Maybe I won't be. Maybe I'll be somewhere else. Maybe everybody just needs to buy a ticket to every indie show. And that way, that. what happens that. is somewhere you'll find me. If you find me, we can take a picture together. And he'll give How's you a t-shirt. I can't give any. One. I have none left. I'm out. I'm oh, sold damn. out of merch. Damn. I'm sold out of merch. Well, yeah, I day, know. I'll see you. Oh, uh, thank you. We'll, uh, we'll talk. Uh, yep. Everybody, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share. We share you. We follow. You know, share for share. And uh, I'll see you next time. And I'll or probably in the Indies. Oh, yeah. Deuce. See you around. Thank you, David. You have a no, good night, buddy. Thank you. You too, Boat.